It is really beautiful. Hi, we are Sara and Igor, two travel enthusiasts who take every opportunity to discover the most beautiful corners of the world. We quit our jobs and sold everything we had to fulfill our biggest dream, to travel the world full time. In Cambodia, we made our first stop in Siem Reap to explore fascinating temples like Angkor Wat, the Tomb Raider Temple and more. Hello and welcome to Cambodia! And here we are in Siem Reap, which is the second largest city in Cambodia. It is a great place if you want to get to Angkor Wat, which was a seat of Khmer Kingdom from 9th till 15th century. But first things first, let's grab some breakfast. Turns out tourists in Siem Reap love really good breakfast because there are a lot of places where you can get pretty decent breakfast. And we are in New Leap now. And this is like a green place where you can get a lot of vegetarian options. Most of the people which are visiting Siem Reap are going only to visit the Angkor Wat temples, which is of course a beautiful reason, but also the city center of Siem Reap got some amazing places to visit, like for example the Royal Independence Garden, which are beautiful gardens here in the middle of the city, it's quite small, but also really nice, really beautiful. And in the middle, there's a temple. And actually, at the moment, they're having some kind of ceremony. Of course, the easiest way to travel to Cambodia is by plane, but we were obviously searching for some more adventure why we took the bus from Koh Chang in Thailand and the first bus drove us all the way next to the border between Thailand and Cambodia and there they left us and said we have to cross the border by foot that's also what we did so first of all we left Thailand got our stamp then we went to the Cambodian border and there we made the visa on arrival everything went really well we paid 1,300 baht, or you can also pay in US dollars, they like both. And once we got our visa, we left also the Cambodian border and went to the bus station where already some other people were waiting. And about 30 minutes to one hour later, we boarded another bus which drove us about two or three hours to see him rest. by and we saw this beautiful temple we weren't sure what is it but one of the tourists which was actually walking out of this place told us this is a cemetery and I need to say this is probably the most beautiful cemetery we ever been it is full of pagodas gold and red painted fake cows like this one behind me the sculpture of a cow on cemetery how cool is that and full of flowers and in the middle there is a boat this place really doesn't look like a cemetery. You are used to it in Europe or even in America. They are really, really simple. But this one, it's really beautiful, beautifully decorated and looks really rich. Another place definitely worth visiting here in CM Rep is the Pub Street and you can compare it somehow with the Khao San Road in Bangkok but while the Khao San Road in Bangkok is targeting for backpackers here you will find more families because you have some fancy restaurants but also pubs, bars so everyone will find something here and it looks really beautiful because you have all the lights, all the lamps and it's so colorful it looks really inviting I am really adventurous with the food <laughs> I'm trying first time a mock fish, which is like a fish curry here in Cambodia. You got like a most style fish with rice. Really delicious. You got like a most style fish, but you also got like a set of fish. This might be my favorite dish here. Today we are visiting Angkor Wat, which is the biggest temple complex in the world and we are standing in the front of the main temple. Mm -hmm. 
So the place we stand like before, it was the main entrance and now we see the main temple. Hey buddy. Uh oh, he's going to Sarah, but Sarah is moving aside. <laughs> While we are heading to the temple, let me explain how we even got here. So you can buy the tickets on only one official place, but you can buy them also online. We will put the link of course in the description. And you can buy tickets for one day, three days and I think also seven days. And of course the average price is lower if you buy it for like three days or seven days. We in our case bought them for three days so we have a little bit more time to explore the whole area and once you got the ticket you have to organize also like a tuk-tuk the price for the tuk-tuk is between let's say 15 and 20 dollars so if they want more you will definitely find something cheaper because we also even asked in our hotel and they said 15 dollars is like a normal price and you will like be thousand times approached on the street that they want to drive you the whole day around so make sure to not pay more than twenty dollars it's so unreal to have this temple right in front of your eyes and we all know it from all the pictures and the movies and now it's here we are inside the temple this place is truly amazing it's a really huge i read somewhere it's built in limestone and you see that it's already a little bit destroyed but it is still really pretty this place is really stunning i personally can't decide if i like more from the outside or from the inside because from the outside you have like this panorama, this beautiful view, but also from the inside, you have all the chambers, all the columns, all the details. It definitely lives up to its hype. For example, these columns have like Buddha here and all of them are looking similar. I mean, just imagine how it was to build all this hundreds of years ago. And also all the details here in the ceiling, wow. I was expecting to be hot, but it is really hot. We are really sweating, so now I understand why everyone is getting up at 4 a.m. in the morning and getting here like, I don't know, 5 a.m. <laughs> when it's still really cool and you don't experience maybe the sun. Maybe the, it's a little bit darker, but also it is not so crazy hot. Some of the places you can see like here that they are restoring it. So probably the original part didn't hold anymore. Go Sarah. I'm scared that I'm gonna fall down <laughs> but it is really beautiful. To climb up you have to use these stairs and before they use these stone stairs obviously it's a little bit scary but once you're at the top the view is just beautiful. I mean look at this you have this beautiful temple in front of you and behind some nature it is really stunning. Wow. Wow. This is so pretty. Look over there, even an air balloon. Yeah. Wow. There's a really steep. Do we have the Bangkok situation again? Yeah, I think so. We didn't think how to get downstairs yeah. i was thinking about it but i was thinking in i managed somehow yeah. but now i'm a little bit scared so imagine falling me down the stairs i shouldn't say that maybe it's gonna happen just take your time I really don't want to be mean on all the people, but like, like this guy, he's climbing like he would be Tarzan and even there behind is a sign, do not enter, but obviously he doesn't care at all. You are definitely the hero of today. Padma Temple here has 37 stairs to reach the top and this is the same amount of stairs like the 37 stairs to heaven. So for some donation you can get a bracelet from the Buddhist and you choose the pink one from me.
And here we are into the next temple. This one's called Bayon and this one's special because of the engraved faces. I hope you can spot the faces that are like here engraved in the stones. It's pretty nice how they did it. Also in this temple you have like some engraved details. If we say it's really hot and we are sweating like crazy, we really mean it. I mean, we were on so many really hot places, but I honestly can't remember any place where it was that hot as it is here. We've got here like a board where you can see where which uh, engraving is. So like for example, you've got a group of people or coconut tree. Coconut tree, where is it? Oh, it's here. This one. Okay, that's like the next level engraving with all these details. Wow! That one is really probably the best one so far. So far we love both of the temples, but I think this one for me personally it's a little bit more beautiful because of the faces and all the engravings. And in the other one, of course, the view from the top, starting to raining, the view from the top, it was really, really beautiful. The weather is getting crazy here, the Bayonne Temple, but I want to share a thought with you. So I'm always thinking when we are visiting places like this, which are like 800 or even 1000 years old, and you see all the details, all this fascinating architecture, I ask myself, what will people think about our architecture nowadays will they think wow everything was so flat and modern and simple i mean i really love the architecture nowadays but i don't think that it will be so fascinating like in thousand years